What's up, family? Back with another one. Man, I know my sisters are like, dang, you've been going hard on us, man. And But today's guys. Today, we're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the guys. And those of you guys that say you're a man, we got to grow the fuck up. We do. We got to understand some shit. We got to stop acting like victims. And I laugh at us, you know, um, when I hear all these guys talk about how crazy these women are and what to do. I really laugh at us. Because it's like, wait a minute. You don't understand history. You don't understand karma. You don't understand energy. You don't understand a lot of things in this trip that the police siren is going on, the ambulances. Man, because this is an emergency. The situation that we as guys find ourselves in in America, this is an emergency. And so we're going to have a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation. A lot of you ain't going to like it, and a lot of you going to be offended. A lot of you going to get triggered. But it is what it is. We got to grow the fuck up. You say you're a man, okay, start acting like a motherfucking man. You say you deep, you say you spiritual, you say you woke, you say you knowledgeable, you like history and you know, da, da, da. Okay, well, grow the fuck up and act like it. Pull your motherfucking pants up, lace up your fucking boots and get back out there in the game. Get out your fucking feelings. I don't give a damn about your feelings. Why, why am I talking like this? Because guys act like these women that are off the fucking hook. These women that are ghetto and ratchet and loud and disrespectful as fuck. Guys act like this ain't a monster that guys created. The shit that's going on with the women in America today. This is the rooster coming home to roost. This is the product of so many guys before you. We're going there today. We're going there. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. And understand that this is the byproduct of your daddy and your grandpappy and guys before you. And some of you have done the same shit to make these women the way that they are. So first and foremost, you got to understand the thermal laws of, um, the laws of thermodynamics state that energy never dies. Energy never dies. What's that got to do with, with the women and guy thing? For years for years guys you got to understand this you got to catch this women that don't really understand why women are so fucked up right now out in society and some bullshit you got to understand that for years years here in america women have walked around with this repressed energy, with this suppressed energy. Women have walked around with this trauma in America of being oppressed. Women have walked around in America for years, been disrespected, been invalidated. Women have walked around in America and dogged the fuck out. I'm talking about good women. Women that had their men's back. Women that took care of the home. Women that took care of their men. Women that went out and worked in other people's homes to help out, to help them out. Women that got their ass up before the sun came up, was out in the fucking fields, on the fucking farms, dealing with the animals. Women that, that worked hard. And because they worked so hard. 
and had a lot of kids. When the guys started going to work and the guys start seeing all these other women that didn't have to work hard like their woman. Guys start seeing all these other women that could take care of themselves because they didn't have five kids or 10 kids at home that they had to raise. They wasn't out there in the fields, in the gardens. They wasn't out there with the animals. They wasn't out there walk, fetching water and all this other shit. We're talking about here in America. And so these women that was at home doing all this shit, man, they didn't have time to take care of their body. They ate good, but they didn't have time to take care of their body. And so now, guys are out corporate America, guys are in the city, and they're seeing all these young women that ain't working hard. They're seeing all these hoes. And guys sleeping around doing what the fuck they want to do. Why? Because they know their woman wasn't going nowhere. They know their woman was stuck at home. She couldn't go nowhere she wanted to. Guys complain so much. Man, I, we just feel so unappreciative and we just feel like these women are so ungrateful and we feel like and these women are dead and dead and they're tearing us down and they're disrespecting us and they're invalidating us. Well, man, cry me a motherfucking river. Grow the fuck up. I get it. It's hard to hear. I get it. It's a hard motherfucking experience, ain't it? It's hard as fuck going out there busting your ass and doing all this shit you can to show this person that you love them, to show this person that you got their back, to show this person you support them and you're nurturing and caring and tending it to their knees and da da You're doing all this shit for them and they act like you ain't doing shit. You do all this shit for them and they act like it ain't enough. You're doing all this shit for them and they still don't want your raggedy ass. I'm talking about dudes. This is how guys feel now. What about all those women that gave birth to all those babies? What about all those women that was at home providing for the family and all the stuff that making soap by scratch? Um, these women ain't, ain't had no Burger King or Cracker Jack to go to. We talking about back in the day. Before all that slop came on the scene. I'm talking about energy. Stay with me. Repressed energy. Suppressed energy. So all these women for years have walked around feeling like the guy didn't support them. He provided for them, but he wasn't really attentive to them. He really didn't give a damn about their feelings and their emotions and their thoughts and their opinions and them per se. They were just a baby factory. We talking about all the women who walked around and they knew that their dudes was cheating on them. But they couldn't go nowhere. They were stuck at home in a miserable place, in a miserable condition because they were religious and they were taught, man, you got to take care of your man. You got to stick with your man for better or for worse. And these women believed that and they held to that. And they knew that their dudes wasn't shit. They knew that their dudes were cheating on them. So that energy was passed down to their daughters. That energy. I love you, daddy. But your daddy's not a really a good man. The mothers didn't say it, but they felt it. And that energy was passed down. Again, 
energy don't die. Just because moms die, that energy doesn't die. It just transfers. It just moves on. We got to get this. We got to get this. And so all that energy is put transferred to these daughters and all these girls. And they're growing up and they're getting a good man or not good. They're getting a dude. And they're having babies and they're trying to do what they're supposed to do. What their husband told them to do. You stay home and I'll go to work and I'll provide for the family. And he's providing financially and all that other shit. But he acts like he doesn't see her. He acts like he's not grateful for all that she's done. He's invalidating. He's dismissive. He's abusive emotionally. He's abusive psychologically. He got women on the side. And so this young woman who's carried that energy, that feminine energy from her mama is now seeing and experiencing the same trauma. And we wonder why these women have finally gotten to a place of fuck this shit, fuck these dudes. We're not dealing with their abusive nature. We're not dealing with them disrespecting us. We're not dealing with them dogging the fuck out, us, dogging us the fuck out. We're not their fucking slaves. We're not staying at home no more. We're not doing woo do do woo. We don't want no fucking kids. We ain't want no fucking family. And da 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 da. And so all these women are finally getting to that place of that fuck you dudes and fuck the patriarch society and whoop do do whoop and da 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 we're rebelling kiss our motherfucking ass and we don't want shit to do with y'all we don't give a fuck what you do for us financially we can go out and get our own fucking money and this is why the young ladies young girls have been programmed don't get no guy. Guys ain't shit. Guys only want a couple of things. They want you to cook them something to eat. And they want to have sex. This is what young girls have been programmed to believe. From their mamas and their grandmas and their aunties. Because of all the years of them sacrifices and doing all this stuff for the family and the dude still walking away the women doing all this shit for her man and the man telling her it ain't good enough because she's overweight now she don't take care of herself she don't keep herself groomed and clean like like this little hole over here like this little trap over here Her hands ain't soft. Like this little hood rat that ain't never had to work. She don't look as nice. She's not as petite. As this little Barbie doll over here. And so these women have gotten to the point, man, I've had all these babies. I've had to get down on my hands and knees and scrub this floor and do woo doo the woo and wash these dirty ass, dingy ass fucking clothes by hand. I had to go deal with these fucking animals. I had to go fetch fucking water. I had to go whoop do the woo And these women are sitting there, man, I've done all this shit for you and you ungrateful motherfucking bastards who don't appreciate me don't see my fucking pain don't see my fucking struggle don't appreciate me don't value me don't love me don't respect me you don't do a motherfucking thing
anything but want to fuck me. I'm done. I'm done. And so they passed all that energy, not even knowing it. They passed that energy down to their daughters and down to their granddaughters. And truth be told, there's a lot of women carrying that energy of their great grandma, of their grandma, of their mom. They saw what they went through. They felt that pain and that struggle. And so now they're in the, in, in the world and they see what the fuck is going on. And they come out, fuck the bullshit. I want to be liberated. Fuck the bullshit. I ain't nobody fucking slave. Fuck the bullshit. I'm not kissing your motherfucking asses because you a dude. Fuck the bullshit. I'm not listening to you and submitting to you just because you're a fucking dude. See, guys have wanted women to be submissive for years. And a lot of times, these guys wanted women to be submissive so they could dog them the fuck out. So now, the rooster's coming home to roost. Now, we got to deal with these young women. Now, we got to deal with these old women who's sick of the bullshit. They're demanding their freedom. They're demanding their independence. They're demanding to be seen and heard. That's why a lot of these women won't shut the fuck up. That's why a lot of these women have this thing of, man, they got to over talk you. Because of all that repressed and suppressed energy of the women before them that these women are carrying. They're carrying that pain and that trauma of the women before them. And the great majority of these women today have no idea that they're carrying that energy. They just know, man, I'm innately sick and tired of these motherfuckers. Oh, you want to treat us like motherfucking hoes? Okay, motherfucker, you're going to have to pay for this shit. Okay, you want to act like you didn't respect women back in the day? You didn't value a good woman in the day? You didn't value a good wife? And hoo -doo -doo. You left your woman, you left your kids for these young motherfuckers, these nice bodies, and who do do? Okay, motherfuckers, get some of this kitty cat. You're going to have to come off the fucking bank. Okay, to sit down and talk to me. Okay, motherfucker, you're going to come off the fucking wallet. We as women, we ain't shit but something for you to see and look at and, and, and to lust after. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, motherfuckers, y'all gonna pay for this shit. Get ready. Open up the bank account. Because we're gonna run you fucking dry and then throw your ass away. Motherfucking karma. motherfucking karma see as guys see it's easy for us to sit back and say well you know what that's not my fault and I wasn't here and I didn't have shit to do with that and da 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 you can say all the shit you want to it doesn't change the fact it is what it motherfucking is it is what it motherfucking is you may not like it you may not really want to understand it. You may not want to accept it. But it is what it motherfucking is. These women ain't playing with your asses today.
These women don't give a fuck about your feelings today. Guys, we want to get all emotional. This is just not fair. And these motherfuckers act like we built this world. And this is our country. And you and your shit are going for us. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. I hear that. I hear that. I understand that. I understand you may have been a good guy. I understand you may not have done anything personally like that. You do understand the domino effect, right? You do understand momentum though, right? You do understand the pendulum effect, right? The pendulum was so far to the right. Guys could do what the fuck they want to do. And not face any repercussions from it. Guys are just wilding the fuck out for no fucking reason. And over time, the pendulum has been swinging so far away from the right to the left in favor of these women. And now guys want to cry about it. Now guys want to talk about how it's not fair. Now guys want to talk about how toxic these women are. Now guys want to talk about how fucked up and twisted these women are. What made them that way? And this, and see, for us, these guys get on talking about well, social media, did, 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 and social media did play a huge part in this. But guess what played an even larger role in this? It ain't social media. It's the way guys have been treating women for decades. See, if guys hadn't been mistreating and dogging out good women for decades, Decades, we wouldn't have this fucking crisis right now with social media and women getting on social media platforms talking about fuck these dudes and woo do do and take their fucking bag and take them to the fucking bank and wreck them financially and da da da. da. Women wouldn't be doing all this ignorant ass shit if it wasn't for all the women that got suffered that had to suffer and got traumatized and fucked over by dudes before social media. So now it's come home to roost. Now it's coming back and it's slapping guys in the face. Now guys are going to start their own fucking male movements. And we got this thing, you know, dudes got this thing called hopefulation. It's a big thing now all over social media. Hopefulation. Even terminology of it is fucking disrespectful. But it's, this is what dudes do. This is not what men do. This is what fucking dudes do. Every dude ain't a fucking man. Hopeflation. And what hopeflation says is a guy will have to work five times harder to get a woman. that does 20% less than what his grandmother did. Excuse me, a guy would have to do work five times harder for a woman. And that woman is 20 times less a woman than his grandmother. That's whole place. So what they're saying is, now, I got to bust my motherfucking ass into whoop the whoop the whoop for this shit? You not even on the fucking level of my fucking grandma. You 20 times worse than my grandma. And I got to bust.
bust my ass five times harder than what my grandpa did to get my grandma. And I get a woman 20 times less than the character or the quality of my grandmother. My grandmother knew how to cook from scratch. My grandmother knew how to just make some shit out of no shit. My grandmother was solid. My grandmother was... Da, 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 da. But your motherfucking ass can't cook, can't clean, don't really know how to suck dick. They don't want no fucking family, ain't fucking loyal, ain't fucking faithful, and all you are is a fucking money bag, and we'll do it. Do, 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 do. You don't have the fucking intelligence of my grandmother. You don't have the loyalty of my grandmother. And so guys are pissed the fuck off. You notice I say guys. Guys are pissed the fuck off. Now they ignorant ass is talking about we going on strike. We don't need women. And these are the type of guys that are creating and have created sex dolls. And as the truth be told, They'll have artificial sex with AIs, with robots and shit of that nature. Because they don't have to hear a woman's mouth. Because they don't ever have to be told no. Because anything goes. They could treat her any way they want to. Anytime they want to. Tell me what these dudes want. What they're going to do. What they're doing. The truth is. These guys. And women for decades. Are complaining about the same shit. They're saying the same shit. Value me. Respect me. Cherish me. Be grateful for what I bring to the table. Be grateful for what I do. Be grateful for what I am. For who I am. Take the time to get to know me. That's all those women wanted. But they didn't get it. Now. That's what we guys are saying. Women, I'm more than just a fucking baby factory. I'm more than just your fucking slave. I'm more than just your fucking personal cook. I'm more than just your personal fucking errand boy. You know what I mean? I'm more than this. This is what women have been saying for decades. And now guys are saying, I'm more than just the dollar sign. I'm more than just the dollar symbol. I'm more than just your sugar daddy. I'm more than just a fucking ATM. Karma ain't a fucking joke. That pendulum is swung. 
and it's way on the left side now. It is what it is. It is what it is. Our job as men and guys growing up emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually and becoming men as women growing up and becoming the better version of yourself. Our job is to understand history. Our job is to understand why things are the way that they are. So you can never fix the problem if you don't understand what caused the problem. See, there's so many people trying to fix the fucking problem and you don't even know what the fucking problem is. You don't even know why the problem happened. We have to grow up. Guys and women alike. And hopefully, through us sitting down and processing what the fuck is going on, Hopefully, through us sitting down and saying, damn, okay, man, we're fucking up. We're fucking up. We're doing too much. We're doing too much. Guys, we're doing too much. Women, we're doing too much. Hopefully, in time, we can bring the pendulum back center and keep it there. Keep it balanced. Not in favor of guys. Like it's been for years. Not in favor of women. But balanced. Center. Where we can both. Value each other. Respect each other. Cherish each other. Uplift each other. Because the reality is we need each other. I don't give a fuck about what the guy movement is. Um, what I just talked about it in the live stream yesterday. Um, MGTO, um, MGTO, M-G-T-O-W. Men gone their own way. This is new movement since the early 2000s. Guys are saying, fuck these women. We're going to do our own thing. We don't need them. We don't want no fucking relationships. We don't want no kids. That's some stupid ass bullshit. That's guy's answer for fucking feminism and it's feminism at the same time. You know what I mean? We've got to grow the fuck up. We've got to understand how feminism has hurt females. It's helped you, but it's hurt you at the same time. We've got to grow up. And we've got to understand life, healthy living, it's not about life being Favoring women. It's not about life favoring dudes. As long as we keep shit separate like that, there's always going to be contention. There's always going to be war. Between the sexes. As long as we're keeping the fucking pendulum swinging. We got to get it centered. Where it's neutral. To where we could be balanced. The yin yang. To where we could be balanced. That's what that onk represents right here. See? That's the top part. It's feminine energy. The loop. That's feminine energy. Masculine energy. Balanced. Neutral. That's what the Ankh represents. That's the wisdom of ancient Egypt. But because we don't understand our fucking history, we don't understand what the fuck is going on. And so we're living out of balance. We're living out of balance.
guys and women. Man, open prayer system to encourage you and to inspire you. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.